So we're just going to record this way and then I'll, I'll post it later. And we do have quite a few who, who go back and watch. I'm like, Oh, thank you, Lord. Somebody watches it. So Jen, Hey, we never know what you're going to look like. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's spooky season. So we had to go a little spooky. Oh, look at you. You're so fun. Right. I love it. She's a woman of mystery. She is. She's mm -hmm. bold and brave and inspiring. I had purple hair earlier. Yeah, it was last very week. long. So I was like, I gotta. <laughs> what I want to know is when do you buzz off the hair underneath? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> um, actually, it's very, it's very close. It's probably only, uh, it was only like this long when wow. I last went and I was like I might just like fully fully buzz it but yeah I do yeah. like one or two days without a wig so. okay fun so yeah. fun okay y'all well let's get to it let's chat um I wrote that down wrong sorry <laughs> my brain got a little crazy okay so um uh, a couple things that I wanted to share and show you guys. Hopefully you've seen this, um, but it's a really cool um, one week thing that's happening. The million dollar message happens all the time um, for encouragement for consultants. And these women are all national sales director daughters. So they have become top sales directors and their moms are or were NSDs. And so they have a really unique perspective. And um, so I love to listen to their messages. This number on the screen, you can call in and listen to it anytime. Um, but then they also do a recording link to where you can catch ones from prior days with the link. So I try to share them fairly often with our, our core group. But this week they're doing about the opportunity. And so there's a couple benefits. Number one would be if you just want to gain confidence in how to talk about the opportunity. Like how do people present it? How do they share about it? Each of these women is extremely successful, but they're very different personalities. And so, um, yesterday Crystal did hers, today's Amber's and then onward. And so I highly recommend listening just to gain insight. You'll learn some cool stuff. You'll hear some stories that are encouraging or that you can tuck away for that woman that you meet who, oh my gosh, you, your story reminds me of Tiffany's. She had this bubble and, and you could provide encouragement to someone about the business. Also, it's very beneficial to pass on to people in your life who you would love to know a little bit more about the business. Maybe they're like thinking about the business. Maybe they're not at all, but it's such a great way to, if you listen to one and, oh my gosh, somebody pops in your brain, you can say, Hey, would you be willing to listen and give me your thoughts on it? Like what stands out to you? What do you notice? You can approach someone as an expert, like, Hey, you are really good at such and such. I would love to know what do you like about it? What maybe is not great? What catches your attention? Use it as like a, a tool for yourself to learn. If, if that feels a little more strong to invite someone to give their opinion of it and kind of size it up, women love love to give their opinion of things. Um, so if that's somebody really, really strong and successful and it feels kind of like, I don't know how to ask her, you can ask her to just tell you what you think because you're developing how you want to share the business. There's so many ways, but there's also at the end of each one, a special deal that they can take advantage of product wise. So if they just want a half price item, you can be like, girl, you will get you a good deal if you listen to one of these and then I'll get you your item. That can be another approach of they're going to hear some business information. It, it could be a layer. It could be a shift in their mind, but it's really, they're really good and very, obviously these are very successful women. So they do a good job. So just want to really encourage you to embrace and think about who could I have listened, whether it's a critique, um, cause they're still going to hear it or as somebody wants a free product or a half price item or somebody who you just really want to hear more about our story or their, what you hear on there, the recording triggers you. God could plant that in your mind to bless someone in a big way. So um, this is just this week, although the recordings will be up, I think till Saturday, 
Um, so definitely don't miss out on, um, on that. Any questions? Does that make sense? Okay. I feel like it's pretty simple. <laughs> so, uh, so that's really a cool opportunity. Also, I'm going to be posting this, but I know um, many of y'all have shared, we've been talking about giving away catalogs um, and I've been giving away more. Um, yes, Jen, did you do it? Uh, no, I'm really excited. About, I did do it. I did do it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm really excited about this because I was, I'm almost getting to the point where I'm doing my boo bags for like trick or treat. And I was like, I need like a sticker because yes. I don't have business cards. Uh, so it's just, <laughs> yes. And so I love that you did the work for me. Thank you so much because I have been taking labels and then writing individually <laughs> on yes. all the catalogs that I give out. <laughs> painful. I it's made this so sticker because I've been handwriting that and it's too much, <laughs> too much. And I think I've only done it like 20 times. And it was like, nope, wasting my time, not doing it at 10. And I was like, I'm so over this. Right. So, um, so this I do, I'm going to post it in our team group. Just haven't had a chance yet. I just put it together today. These are, you know, those Avery easy peel late address labels there. They fit that, um, Avery 5160 easy peel address labels. So, um, you can stick that onto the back of a catalog. You could put it on the back of a business card. Um, and just to spur them to place an order. Now, this is not something I'm using for my customer base. They don't need that. No, this is for non-customers and people I meet out and about or um, like doctor's offices, places where I'm getting to know people. So I did, I, I put this together and I will share it with y'all so that you can just stick it on stuff and you don't have to handwrite it. Um, always a win. And that's me. I'm very efficiency driven. And so once I start realizing my time is not being used well, I'm like, how do we fix this? And so we have a label. <laughs> So hopefully that's a good resource. Um, and just a reminder, we talked about this last week, so I'm not going to dig into it, but it is time to get those boo bags ready. And oh, I have a pile on the floor here. Avalyn put them together for me. Um, it's just a pretty organza bag from Amazon with my business card, two samples, one skin, one makeup. And then I'm going to put the stickers on there now that I have them. Um, so that way, as people come to the door, hey, take this to your mom. It's a gift for her. Or hey, mama you get a gift too. Um, just a fun way to, to connect with neighbors and, um, get your stuff in their hands. And so it is a wonderful opportunity to take advantage and we can give them away really all week. If you kind of feel it, just throw them in your purse or in your work bag or in your car. And Hey, here's a little gift for you for Halloween week, you know, and just, taking that fun opportunity to give. I, I shared this in the last hour, but I find I'm most comfortable when I feel like it's a gift, when I feel like it's something for them versus just, here's my card. I want you to call me, <laughs> you know, I want you to buy something, but giving that little sample feels, feels like a gift. So anyhow, um, it's a good opportunity to make good connections. Also a little bit of reco. We are, where are we at now? We are getting close to halfway through the quarter. So getting close to halfway through the quarter, um, we've got a lot of stuff rolling with Star Consultant stuff. Um, 1,800 points is the goal. So by November 1st, if you have 900 points, you're like right where you want to be, four star. Um, so you see Jen is there. She's already over 1,000. Um, no question. I'm sure this month will be a good one. Um, <laughs> double credit, man. Uh, yes. Amy has 497 carry 538. Um, trying to see if anybody else who's on here is on there. Not yet, but, um, it is, uh, it's on target and it feels good to be heading on target. So just keeping that in front of you and just remembering this month, you get four points for every dollar you spend. So whether it's $200 or 2000 and you max out the double credit, it's giving you a lot of momentum for this yearly prizes for recognition at career conference too. Um, they do stage recognition at career conference in the spring. And so if you position yourself to be on target by getting lots and lots of points in October 
ordering and selling and all of that, it's just more fun to go and have more bling on your bling badge. Am I right, girls? More bling on your badge at Career Conference and more recognition. So, um, so that's where we're at in the quarter. Um, also, we're doing great with our Golden Girls as well. Um, we have four already done, four already done. Rhonda, Kimberly, Pat, Lisa, Kim, uh, Maggie are all well on their way to hitting that. And I know some folks, you know, placing that word at the end of the month, but our goal is 10 achievers. We had the goal of seven, but um, that's not a stretch anymore. It's not a stretch. And so we really would love to have 10 of us that earn the beautiful scarf, which I meant to bring in here. It's in my kitchen. Um, beautiful, beautiful scarf. Uh, so I need to play with it in my hair. That's my goal. Um, but congrats to those of y'all who are working and growing and serving. Um, Amy, I missed, I feel like I missed you on here. I think you're supposed to be on here anyway. Anyhow, do you want to say that, Amy? Did I miss you? I was going to say, I, it's kind of been slow this month. Um, I've got stuff in the works, but no, I'm pretty sure that you're right. I'm not on there. <laughs> okay. Cause I'm like, I feel like you should be, you will be no okay. doubt. You've been working away. And that reminds me of the um, quote that I wanted to encourage y'all with tonight. I saw this on Facebook from a friend, trust your hard work. It's unlocking your do unlocking doors. You can't see yet. And I feel like that's so this business, it's everything in life, right? It's health. It's, but what I love is um, I really believe trust your hard work. God is unlocking doors. You can't see yet. He doesn't expect us to be perfect. He doesn't expect us to know who, what, when, where, how he knows that stuff. But when we are faithful and we show up and we bring passion to our business and serve people, and we have a heart to serve. He says, all right, girl, I see you. And he throws something in out of left field or right field or drops something in your plate. And technically you don't deserve it. Like I didn't try to get her or I didn't know that was coming. It doesn't matter. God is like, I just want to see that you show up faithfully. And I have, I'm going to show you guys my, I've started this. I told Amy about it. I have a sticky note pile that I'm going to cover my desk with um, because I'm in a season of, of trusting, trusting the Lord, trusting him in some big ways and asking him to do some miracles. And so I decided I want to literally keep a track, a ledger of every time God surprises me, every blessing, everything extra cool that happens. The first one was, um, I had a lady come and she said she wanted two things and she doubled her sale when she came and bought a bunch of other stuff. Another one, somebody in our unit crossed a thousand dollars wholesale for the first time in a really long time. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for her in September. Um, you know, just different things where, um, a $200 order coming in from giving out a catalog. So I'm keeping a ledger of how God shows up in surprising ways, because that's what we want to do. We want to believe he can do anything, believe that he can do miracles and he wants to big, bold faith honors him, right? So much more than the little timid stuff. And so, um, we want to be warrior women who don't need him to constantly be, it's okay. We want to be, we want to be strong. We want to be trusting his his work. And so that's why the sticky notes, I want to have a ledger of his faithfulness that I can cling to and go back to and celebrate that can fill me with gratitude in the waiting process, right? In the midst of it, in the hard stuff. Um, and that goes for in my business and out. So I hope I love the nod and the heart, Jen. Thank you. I feel you. You're with me. <laughs> we all have that. We all have areas where we're having to really trust and it might be in your business and it might be in other things too. I know it is for me, um, but uh, we can trust the one who's opening the doors and who's putting it in our path. And I want to invite you guys to celebrate and share, like when those things happen, bring them on Tuesday night. I'm going to open up here in a second for y'all. If you have a win or a victory <laughs> to share. <laughs> Um, that's, I want, I want our meetings to be full of, I saw God, he did this. I saw him move. He planted something. He provided something. It can be so small, but it's not small to us. 
So anybody have something to share that you've seen happen this past week or two? Where has God shown up and surprised, blessed, provided, encouraged you? Um, I was going to share with you when it came to the lookbooks. I, there's a lady that walks her dog by my house all the time. And the girls and I go out there and pet the dog and do some small talk. And um, the other day, I think it was the beginning of last week, um, I, we were walking our dogs and she was behind us. So we got our dogs inside real quick. And then like a weirdo, I ran inside and I got a lookbook. <laughs> And then I ran back outside and I was like, Hey, and I handed it to her and I was like, I don't even know your name. So her name is Christy. And then I just got a random website order last night from her. Cause she had told me that she was, um, like her aunt used to do Mary Kay and now she doesn't. So she doesn't have anybody and blah, blah, blah. So she placed an order last night. So that was, that was a huge, great thing. And um, I'm getting some ideas. I feel like God's helping me with some creative ideas, which is a huge thing because I am so not creative and just like trying to get myself out there and giving things away. I found a stack of lookbooks that I didn't even know that I still had. And so like my, <laughs> like I'm going to put on there, um, like to place your order by October 31st to get 10% off. I so like it. take the advantage of the double credit guys I have like 40 lookbooks still what the heck <laughs> so they got to go out I need these orders <laughs> yes I love it so good Amy thank you for sharing and thank you for just being willing to be a little bit of a weirdo she knew you weren't because you were friendly and nice <laughs> my, I don't know my Zoomie is not a weirdo I'm just saying. Yes, girl. <laughs> Preach it, Carrie. This is what we want. Stand up for each other. <laughs> Any other ones to share? I would say I got an unexpected order from my second daughter-in-law that I was like, what? Because she's she knows I sell Mary Kay, but she's she's kind of a mystery girl sometimes. And all of a sudden she placed this order for a bunch of Christmas gifts and she got seven half price options. And she goes, Carrie, I don't know, just choose them for me. And that was the one member I said, could you check my math? Because I, <laughs> it was just, that was a lot. Yes. She, Over $500. Uh, yeah. And she's like, I just, and I just love all this because I can't wait to try all the samples you sent me. And she's very much an online girl. She hates to go in a store and shop. So I'm really hoping that um, she continues to order. And I, you know, I, of course I chose free samples for her that were out of her comfort zone. Like she's had the same um, makeup and cleansing routine for like years that I've known her. Well, of course, I sent her the, the samples of all that. She goes, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get to look at all that. So you just never know. And I hesitated to her. I, I went on, you know, I did it where I went to the app and clicked everybody and sent them an email. Two people responded like within seconds. It was, wow. it was so funny. And she was one of them. And I'm like, I was, she just caught me off guard. Yes. So, and she ordered things from my grandson who's doing like pupil pre-puberty type stuff she ordered men's wash for his stocking so it, it was a nice surprise for me that I mean that's phenomenal I'd be cheering and jumping up and down for that too <laughs> wait mommy's not done yet okay you should see the faces in the window right now I that have been watching me <laughs> <laughs> tell them the picture I'll show you later because <laughs> they know they cannot come bust again. They've been trained, but they will. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, I know Alyssa wasn't able to be on tonight, but she shared one with me today too. She gave away, 
catalog and put something on a card. She needs to tell everyone about it, about if they want to do a virtual session to let her know. And one of the people called her and signed up for a session and wanted to get on to one. I don't remember if she bought or not. It was a real quick interaction. Um, but same, just taking opportunities to give, to let people know what she does and provide those opportunities. And they don't all do it, but it doesn't take all. We don't need all. We just need those few, right? So I was excited for that for her. And I'll see if she has any details to give us later. But how about anybody else? Jen, Kelly, any fun blessings? I think you had one, Kelly, that you've been working on. Yeah, my sister, um, I got her and well, both of my sisters and then one of their friends went on the holiday hangout. Um, they didn't all get to stay for the whole thing. Um, but then my sister wanted in on the ticket thing. And so she was like, okay, well, what all is involved in me having a party? And so long story short, she's coming on with her friends on Sunday to and they're just going to join in on the Sunday session and she's going to get hostess credit for whatever they order so um and I've talked to her or Jess has talked to her um and she's kind of on she's one of the ones that's on the fence well I don't know if I could do this well I could do this well I don't know if I could do this and um so hopefully I don't know something will come of it yes It'll grow her confidence. Yeah. I love that. I'm so glad, Kelly. Good job getting people on that. So fantastic. Anybody else? Uh, well, I was continuing the, the pumpkins, which my husband has deemed my, my new way to bribe people, apparently, because I, I put together one last minute. We had a, I had a vet appointment for the, for the pup. And I thought, you know, I can just throw a little something together, like do some stuff. Found I had some found some old catalogs. <laughs> so I was like, there you go. Uh, and like immediately they, you know, grabbed the catalog, were flipping through it. And it was just, it was an entirely different interaction than like when you just go in and you have your dog and you're like, I have some some lovely gifts for you, like little samples and little, you know, just for the entire office to to pass around I just went in I was like here you go we've been going here for years I never do anything like this but you guys love all my pop and our family and here you go like just little little treats for you and they were just like so blown it was an entirely different reaction and I was like because you I feel really weird with my little pumpkin going into that like so, it's weird for me this is a new experience and yeah yeah like did they know that I did Mary Kay before no never never interacted with them on that level and so it's it's pushing me and it's expanding my mind and I'm just like okay now I have to think I have to think beyond Halloween but <laughs> yes but even just like it doesn't have to be Halloween themed because like the vet thing was like, I have a receptacle and I put a little shred and I put a little like minis and samples and catalogs and boom, you mm -hmm. could do that any time of the year with like a basket. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was fun. I was like, Oh, look at, okay. Yeah. It genuinely feels like you're a blessing. You're not taking, you're not yeah. making people feel uncomfortable. You're just like making their day. Yeah. And they thanked me on the way out. They were like, thank you so much for all the little goodies and treats. Like they were so appreciative. And I was like, oh, Yay. so Karen, have you gotten any orders or any feedback from that yet? You just prompted something. I'm going to be going to um, an oral surgeon apartment uh, appointment in a couple Fridays. And I'm like, you know, I, I, I think about it afterwards, but not ahead of time. And I'm wondering if they would let me put something in their office. Like, has it has it led to anything yet? Um, orders for sure. Okay. Not anything like, I haven't followed up to sit, you know, I haven't done any like, hey, could I put something 
in your office for like Legion or anything. I've just been like loving on the people that I work with. Yes. That I interact with on a normal basis. But you, but you have gotten orders from them. Orders and then um, just the feedback has just, it's just improved the relationship, I would say, because they're just so appreciative. And then they know that I actually do marry, like, they're like, oh, yeah. I didn't know this about you. Yes. <laughs> so now I'm like a resource for them. But uh, yeah, uh, orders for sure. And just conversation as far as like, what are, you know, the three gals that uh, my husband picked baskets for? It was like, what are, what are these things? What is this? Like, so just, just that type of conversation where you get to, it opens the door for like, well, there's different types of masks or, you know, so. Yeah. Well, I've got so many samples that I, I've come in hoarding, I guess, which is terrible, but this one oral surgeon's office that I go to, I mean, they're so sweet and they're all women except for the doctor. And I could just have some like cellophane bags with the catalog and a few little samples just to give them individually. Mm -hmm. Because I yeah. see the same nurses every single time. Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to think like, I just need to like do it this weekend, pop them in my bag and be ready. And I haven't done that yet. And because I'm not thinking ahead mm -hmm. and, so, and I've got the catalogs. I mean, I didn't order a lot, but I've got enough to where, shoot, like you say, you might as well give them away. They're sitting on my desk mm -hmm. <laughs> or in my purse, you know? So I also have, and I don't know if I shared this before, but um, when I've been out of the office and someone needs, does, you know, backs me up just a little bit and it's basically minor things like depositing checks and such, I always give them a catalog and a sample and I write them a handwritten note. Mm -hmm. like, Thank you for covering me why it was out type of thing. Now it hasn't led to anything yet, but you just never know. So yes, mm -hmm. it's true. Even goodwill, goodwill is a thing, you know? Yeah just well, to be yes. grateful. I love that. Um, my fun little win, I went out on, on a limb for me a couple of weeks ago. Honestly, I had to finish my booking wins. I had like five or 10 left and I didn't know who to reach out. And I was like, well, I guess it's time to offer my services to the dance team. Um, <laughs> we have a texting thread from all the moms on Avalon's travel or competition dance team, there's 14. And we'd been together for a few months and I was trying to add value and love, but not be weird. And so I just, um, it had come to my mind a few times, but I had, I just wanted to, you know, make it at the right time. And so I sent a text, I said, Hey, I know pictures are coming up for pick for dance. And sometimes picking the right shade of foundation can be so overwhelming and confusing. So I just want to let you know, I've been working with this for 13 years. I've trained with a few makeup artists and really learned how to match foundations. You don't have to say that part, but I just thought, well, I can, so I will. Um, and uh, I said, um, the products I work with are Mary Kay. We are, you know, non-comedogenic, so they won't break the kids out. And um, they're European Union approved, so no crap in them. Literally said that just to be super relaxed. Uh, and so if I could be of service to help you, it's totally free to match your daughter. Just let me know. And several of them loved it, like hearted it, but nobody said anything at all. And nobody was weird. I just was like, okay, I've done my, I put it out there. Well, just on Sunday, I was at a birthday party for one of those girls and the mom, one of the moms, Hey, I want to take you up on the foundation matching for my daughter and I need it too. Can we get together? And so next week we're getting together. It would have been this week, but I, I wasn't available. So, um, I just felt like, okay, thank you, Lord. Like yes. we yes. plant, you know, we let people know. And, um, when we do it with the right heart, we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry. It will come back in the right way, shape, form, it builds our confidence. So I love that every single one of us had a, a fun win and a victory, like a significant victory to share. So it's, it's a new season. I really like it. I really like it. I know some of y'all are newer, but this is fun. This is really fun. And I'm excited. I'm very excited. Please keep sharing what you're learning, what experiences and ideas you're having, um, so we can keep working at it together. Um, 
And yes, we have one full week, seven days, I guess, if you count today, <laughs> seven days to maximize the wins for double credit. And so we do the lead measures. We invite, we ask, we serve, we share, we talk, we give, and we let God provide that lag measure. So let's not end the month like this. <laughs> let's end the month on a steady climb. It'll only make things stronger for November as well. Um, so let's see what we can do to max it out as a team and hit that 20,000 as a team. We're over halfway there. That's exciting. Um, and then whatever wholesale you would love to hit, whether it's maxing it completely or half and getting those points so y'all could go on stage at career conference and other fun times. Not that that's what it's about, but hey, it's fun. I'll take it. I'll take my name badge bling. Um, <laughs> give me my report card as well as we're sharing too. Um, there's so many opportunities. I will forward an email that I sent to my customers, um, to our tribe, probably tomorrow, just in case you want to send it on, um, tweak it or whatever, just to give y'all a little bit of, um, some of the ways that I'm just trying to say, Lord, here I am. I'm willing, I'm seeking, I would pray that you'll actually bring five. I said two in the email, but I'm really praying for five <laughs> women um, that want to jump on this journey and, and come along. And so I'm going to give him a lot to bless and we'll see, see where we land. Any other closing thoughts, prayer requests, anything? Okay. Okay. You know, I don't usually, but I'm going to close this in prayer tonight and we'll let you guys go on with your evenings. Uh, so father, thank you. Thank you so much for this, this work we get to do, Lord. I don't know about these ladies, but I just love this journey of connecting weekly and sharing ideas and sharing victories and struggles and all of it. God, it's not meant to be easy because it's meaningful but it is meant to be full of joy. And I just thank you that you're with us, that you walk with us. Thank you for bringing each of these women, the unique story each one of them has of how they ended up here in Mary Kay and what their gifts are and their passions and the connections they have are so special. I pray that you would just affirm in their spirits, even right now, that this is a place they're meant to be, that they're loved, that they're celebrated here that you have good things in store for them, but also for the people they're going to serve. Would you give us so much joy this week and so much favor, Lord, help us as we seek to maximize the opportunities we've been given to, to serve and give and go. And would you bring a harvest that we can't even imagine? Would you open doors, unlock doors that we don't know about and let us be ready. Let our hearts be confident and bold and courageous that we wouldn't be hiding or pouting or whining when you bring those blessings, Lord, but just grateful and engaged. And uh, we give you the glory. We give you the praise and we're excited to share all that you can do in each other's lives. So amen. Y'all have Thank an you. awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Jeanette. Yeah. Thanks, Carrie. Kelly, Amy, Jen, love you guys so much. Bye, guys. We we'll see you. Bye. This is our new thing. I, I'm feeling it. <laughs> that was the volleyball all the time. They would say, hey, juniors. And they were like, it's like, I love oh. it. yeah. I'm One of them and now they carry it on. So, yes, let's do it. <laughs> okay. We got it. Can you send me, um, real quick, sorry, can you send me career conference on target? Yes. Numbers, date, yes. and what you have to have by when. Yes. Yeah, I missed it last year, didn't I, Amy? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, darn it. <laughs> um, all right, that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye. You got it, girl. Good night. Bye, Kelly.